As your flowcharts and process diagrams get more complicated, you might find that you want to break them up into various levels so that you can replace a, a related set of steps with one single step with a high level name. Then you could link that single step onto another page within your Visio document that shows the detailed steps. If you have Visio Premium, this is really easy to do, and I'll show you that first, and then we'll show you how to do it a little bit more manually in Visio Standard and Visio Professional. So we've got a we've got our little environmental purchase flowchart here. It's been expanded a little bit, and it breaks down the act of making the purchase into a ridiculous number of steps. I get the bike out of the garage, ride to the store, find the product, refuse the extended warranty, purchase from cashier, and of course responsibly dispose of the packaging. Zoom back out. So you can see that all of these shapes are pretty much related and constitute the, the actual execution of purchasing the product. If you've got Visio Premium, you have the process ribbon tab. You just click on that and over here in the sub-process group, sub-process is Visio's terminology for this kind of drill down uh, topography of a, a, of a process flow. A sub-process means we've got a high level shape that links to a page that shows the details of the, of the underlying process. You see we've got three options here and since I've got shapes selected already I can just click the create from selection button. I'll click that and you can see all the shapes were replaced by a sub-process shape, which you can also see over here in the basic flowchart shape stencil. And you'll see that we have a new page inserted as well. And it turns out that Visio automatically creates a hyperlink to that page too. You can see there's a little globe and link icon. And if I right click, you can see that I go to page two and there I am with my details. Now you still have to rename the page to give it some more meaning and you want to come back to the top level flowchart and maybe make matching text for the subprocess shape and so that it matches the subprocess page name. Unfortunately, Visio doesn't do that for you automatically and it doesn't prompt you for a name. But that's still pretty good if you're doing this all day long. It's quite quick. And of course you might want to oops, clean up the flowchart a little bit by moving this guy up here. There we go and there we go. That's all there is to it in Visio Premium. Visio Standard and Visio Professional users do not have the process tab so they have to do a little bit more work but it's although it's a manual process it's just not that difficult. So we'll start by selecting the same number of shapes and I'll cut them using Control X. Just cut them away. Then I will click the New Page tab, the Insert Page tab, create a new page, and I'm going to actually rename this while I'm here. Make Purchase. Oops, Auto Save got in my way while I was editing. There we go, Make Purchase, and then I will just right click and say Paste. My shapes on the page, center them up nicely. And just to take a quick look, you can see Get Bike Out of the Garage, Dispose of Packaging, and we could probably, you know, start and end this process as well if you want to and like this. That type some text in there. I won't waste time with that in the video right now, but so now we've got a a, a, an, a standalone unit that represents the details of the make purchase process. We'll go back to the main page. And we'll see we've got some dangling connectors. Now Visio didn't delete this connector automatically when I deleted the shape because I typed yes on there and it said, oh, he probably is going to reuse that connector. I won't presume to delete it for him. So as I drag my new subprocess shape onto the page, I can actually line it up with the connector. And here we'll create a dynamic glue if I let it go. You can see by those big solid red handles on the connector. Boom. So Visio automatically spaces the shape makes a dynamic glue connection there and I can type in make purchase. Now we're still missing one connector so I will pause over this till I see the auto connect arrows and I'll drag a connector out of that arrow and come down to the finish till I see the big red rectangle that says another dynamic glue connection. And you can see once that's done Visio says okay this connector doesn't interfere with the shape anymore so I can clean that up a little bit and we'll just drag this shape up till we see some auto align and space arrows. There we go, we've got a vertical, a horizontal alignment and a vertical spacing arrow. We'll let it go, zoom up a little bit, and we've got 
a nice looking flow chart. So the last thing we need to do is to simply link this subprocess shape to our subprocess page, and that's as simple as going to insert hyperlink, or you can just right click on the shape, it's right there, and click hyperlink dot dot dot, and address. This is a field you use for external documents on your machine or on your network or internet locations. For pages within the document, go to the sub address, the second field here. And click the browse button, and you'll see we've got a list of pages in the document already. So we'll just say make purchase, and leave the other defaults there. Hit OK, OK. Now we've got the hyperlink icon when we mouse over make purchase. Right click on it and follow the link to make purchase, and there we go. There you have it. If you have premium, this is just one click, one or two clicks to get the subprocess created. If you have standard and professional, it's a few more clicks, but you can see that you can learn this quickly and, uh, and get quite good at it so that you can do it in a matter of five or ten seconds. Not hard at all.